Hi everyone. Standard 9 geometry lecture series is going on. We are in chapter number 1 basic concepts in geometry practice set 1.1 question number 3 let's begin. Before starting question number 3 of practice set 1.1 let us try to understand the meaning of collinear points. Collinear points are those points which lie in a straight line. So what is the condition? The condition for collinear points is that the total of two sides must be equal to the third side then the three points are said to be collinear this is question number 3 sub question 1 pr pq and qr ye teen sides diye hue hain we are supposed to find whether these points p q and r are collinear or not let us start first step out of these three sabse bada side kaun sa hai pq very good i will write distance pq is equal to 10 सेव कर दो वन में बाकी के दो चेक करते हैं डिस्टेंस पी आर प्लस डिस्टेंस क्यू आर इज इक्वल टू सेवन प्लस थ्री इज इक्वल टू टेन डैश टू इक्वल है यस फ्रॉम वन एंड टू डिस्टेंस पी क्यू इज इक्वल टू डिस्टेंस पी आर प्लस डिस्टेंस दोनों इक्वल है इज दिस क्लियर दैट मीन्स दीज पॉइंट आर कोलिनियर बिकॉज द कंडीशन इज सैटिस्फाइड आई कैन से दैट देर फोर पॉइंट पी आर एंड क्यू आर कोलिनियर अब तुम बोलेंगे सर हाउ डू यू नो दैट पॉइंट आर इज लाइन बिटवीन पी क्यू तो एक डायग्राम बना के बता देता हूं समझ में आ जाएगा अच्छे से दिस इज पी क्यू टोटल इज टेन सबसे बड़ा साइड पी क्यू है टेन उसमें पी आर सेवन है पी आर सेवन है और क्यू आर है थ्री दैट मीन्स पॉइंट आर इज लाइक इन बिटवीन पी क्यू सो हाउ टू राइट द बिटवीननेस बिटवीननेस कैसे लिखते हैं देखो दैट इज पी डैश आर डैश क्यू R is in between P Q, or we can also write ulta Q dash R dash P. Hope you understand. This is question number two and question number three. सबसे बड़ा side is R S, so I will write distance R S is equal to A dash one. Then remaining two sides, distance S T plus distance R T. That is equal to six plus four. That is equal to ten. This is equation number two. So from one and two, distance R S is not equal to distance S T plus distance R T. That means points R T and S are not collinear. नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन 16, 9 एंड 7 सबसे बड़ा साइड ए बी डिस्टेंस ए बी इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन डैश वन डिस्टेंस सी ए प्लस डिस्टेंस बी सी नाइन प्लस सेवन दैट इज सिक्सटीन डैश टू फ्रॉम वन एंड टू डिस्टेंस ए बी is equal to distance ca plus distance bc equal hai na that means points a bhi bada hai na to c beech mein rahega a c and b are collinear what may be the betweenness a dash c dash b or b dash c dash a this is sum number 4 5 6 सबसे बड़ा साइड 12, 15, 8, ओके ना डिस्टेंस एम एन इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व डैश वन डिस्टेंस एल एम प्लस डिस्टेंस एन एल इज इक्वल टू इलेवन प्लस एट दैट इज नाइनटीन डैश टू इज इट इक्वल 
no from 1 and 2 distance mn is not equal to distance lm plus distance nl that means points m l and n are non collinear next Distance xy is equal to 15. Equation number 1. Baki ke do side dekte hai. Distance yz plus distance xz is 7 plus 8. That is equal to 15. Dash 2. From 1 and 2. Is it equal? Yes. Distance xy is equal to distance yz plus distance xz. That means points x, y bada hai na, to z which my x, z and y are collinear. What is the betweenness? x dash, z dash, y or y dash, z dash, x. Next, last question. Distance EF is equal to A dash 1. Distance DE plus distance BF is equal to 5 plus 6 that is equal to 11. Equation number 2. Distance EF is not equal to distance DE plus distance DF. That means points E, D and F are non-collinear. Question number 4 is on a number line points A, B and C are such that distance AC is equal to 10, distance CB is equal to 8. Find distance AB considering all the possibilities. The sum is very simple. AC is given, CB is given. We are supposed to find distance AB considering all possibility. Now what is the meaning of possibility? So I will write possibility number 1. Now what is possibility number 1? Possibility number 1 is that suppose this is A, this is B. Suppose C is in between A and B. Suppose possibility 1 is A dash, C dash, B. That means point C lies between A and B. This is the first possibility. That means AC is 10, CB is 8. So total of AB will be 10 plus 8, that is 18. Is this clear? Very clear. It is very simple. I will write distance AC plus distance CB. When they add, it will become distance AB. Sum of two sides is equal to the largest side. This is the condition of the collinear points. Barabar na? Do chote ko add jab karunga, to hi bada side mirega. So this is 10, this is 8. So total kitna hoga? 18. Woi to find karna hai. So I write 10 plus 8 is equal to distance AB. So I will write distance AB is equal to 8 units. 18 units. Is this clear? Clear. Now I will write possibility number 2. Now what is possibility number 2? It will be A dash B dash C or you can write C dash B dash A. Pehle possibility mein C ko andar rakha hai. To dusre possibility mein B ko andar rakhte hai. So I will draw a diagram. A, B and C and C AC is 10 ok and BC is 8 BC is 8 BC is 8 so we are supposed to find AB now how to get AB A dash B dash C what is possibility number 2 point B lies in between 
A and C. That means distance AB plus distance BC is equal to distance AC. AB पता है क्या? नहीं. बराबर ना? तो distance AB plus BC पता है eight. AC पता है ten. So distance AB will be equal to ten minus eight. Distance AB will be equal to two units. This is question number five. Points x, y, z are collinear such that x, y is equal to seventeen, y, z is equal to eight. Find distance x, z. This question is similar to the previous one. There are once again there will be only two possibilities. I will write possibility number one. Now what is the possibility number one? X dash, y dash, z. That means point. Y lies between X and Z. Diagram बना के और clear हो जाएगा. X, Z, Y, X, Y is seventeen and Y, Z is eight. We are supposed to find X, Z. This is seventeen. This is eight. Total will be twenty-five. So I will write distance X, Y. Plus distance y z is equal to distance x z. So this is 17 plus this is 8. So total will be how much? Total that is distance x z will be 25. My first possibility. Hope this is clear. X dash y dash z. X plus x y plus y z is equal to x z. Next possibility number two. Possibility. Number two. Now, what is second possibility? X dash Z dash Y. That means diagram बना हुआ तो clear हो जाएगा. X Y is seventeen and Y Z is eight. So Y Z is eight. This is Z. This is eight. We are supposed to find X Z. That means distance X Z. Plus distance z y is equal to distance x y. X z पता है क्या? नहीं पता है. ये ऐसे ही रहेगा. Plus z y पता है? Eight. X y total is seventeen. Therefore distance x z is equal to seventeen minus eight. So distance x z is equal to nine. Hope this is clear. There cannot be a third possibility. Point. X cannot be in between Y and Z because Y Z eight है वो छोटा segment है तो X point उन दोनों के बीच में नहीं रह सकता है. This is question number six. You have to sketch, you have to prepare a diagram and find the length of AB. It is clearly given that A dash B dash C. That means point B lies in between A and C. So preparing the diagram is very simple. A C Is eleven and BC is six point five. BC is six point five. We are supposed to find AB. That means length of AB plus length of BC is equal to length of AC. Chota, chota, bada. Chota segment, chota segment, bada segment. You know distance. AB no you don't know AB plus six point five is equal to eleven therefore length AB is equal to eleven minus six point five length AB is equal to four point five units hope you understand this is question number two and question number three of sum number six R dash S dash T it's very simple type of question R dash S dash T, RS is 2.5, ST is 3.7. So we are supposed to find RT. Distance RS plus distance ST is equal to distance RT. RS is 2.5. This is 3.7 is equal to distance RT. So 2.5 plus 3.7 is 6.2. 
is equal to distance RT. Therefore, RT is equal to 6.2 units. Next question is x dash y dash z. So x z x y is x dash y dash z. x y is one root seven, and x z is total x z is three root seven. We are supposed to find y z. So x y plus y z is equal to x z. Very simple. x y is one root seven plus y z is equal to three root seven. So y z is equal to three root seven minus one root seven. So y z is equal to two root seven units. Three minus one is two. Two root seven. The last question of practice set one point one says that which figure is formed by joining three non-collinear points? So three non-collinear points are joined. Then a triangle is formed by joining the three non-collinear points. Hope you all have understood practice set one point one. My next lecture will be on practice set 1.2. Shahid Mehman signing off.